I ask you to turn your Bibles to the book of Nehemiah. Hallelujah. Nehemiah. What you have in the Old Testament, you have the uh, major and minor prophets. Amen. They are not major prophets because they're better. Amen. Nehemiah, Isaiah. Amen. And the boys are not better than Joel and Amen. Uh, Habakkuk and Hallelujah. They weren't better than them. Amen. But they are major prophets because of the amount of writing. Nehemiah, amen, was one of the prophets that spoke of, they all did, spoke of the coming of the Messiah. Amen. The coming of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. God in flesh. Hallelujah. And so uh, it is also called, amen, the second book of Esther. It said they thought the uh, prophet Esther would uh, had wrote Nehemiah as well, but that's not correct, amen, because he spoke in the first person, amen. He said, I, amen. And so when he speak in the first person, amen, it was written by him, amen, Nehemiah. Nehemiah, amen, was a man of God that God has sent. We're going to be in the fourth chapter, amen, of Nehemiah. God has sent, amen, to Blessed to be the cupbearer of Artaxerxes, amen, who was the, amen, king of, of hallelujah, of Persia. Amen. He was also the, amen, the son-in-law of Esther, amen, Queen Esther, Artaxerxes was, and Nehemiah was the cupbearer, amen, for Artaxerxes, the king, amen, and so um, they had besieged Jerusalem and had tore it up and the Persian king Artaxerxes, amen uh, they conquered nations by uh, they gained wealth by conquering nations, amen, and so just like they do today, amen, they go after the oil, they go after the um, gold and the minerals and the water amen, they do that, amen as they conquer a nation amen, to get the resources from that nation, amen, and so uh, after they got the resources from Jerusalem, they left, and uh, Nehemiah asked for permission to go back and to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, amen, and so he uh, asked the king for papers to take him to, amen, uh, Jerusalem, so he wouldn't get stopped by anybody, amen, and uh, allow him to get back safely to Jerusalem and build the walls. Where we find ourselves today in the fourth chapter of uh, Nehemiah is when they started building the walls and putting together uh, the, 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 the pieces, the broken pieces of the city of God. It is a travesty, amen, that we uh, have to rebuild God's city. The city of David, amen, the city of Jerusalem, amen, that, that, that had been destroyed. And it had not been destroyed because the enemy was greater than the children of God. Uh, the, uh, Jerusalem was not destroyed because, amen, the enemy was better than God himself. Jerusalem was destroyed because God's people refused to listen and obey God. So God, because they would serve other nations and serve other gods, God would allow the other nations to have the rule over them. Amen. Because they had no, amen, submission and willingness to be ruled by God himself. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, we see here in the word of God that God has, amen, blessed his people, blessed Nehemiah to go back. And Nehemiah didn't build the walls with construction workers. Amen. He didn't stop by, amen, the proverbial store, painting store, and pick up people and had them jump in the car. Amen. So that they could, amen, hallelujah, help build, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But Nehemiah took people that were, amen, had other jobs. Amen. Hallelujah. They wasn't built and made to, amen, do these things, but they were, had the ability to obey. Amen. And over here in the fourth chapter, if you haven't say amen. amen. Nehemiah 4 and 1. But it came to pass. Somebody say it came to pass. That when Sambalat had heard that they built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. Now, Sambalat was a governor, amen, over uh, one of the regions around 
amen, uh, uh, Jerusalem. And uh, previously they were, amen, hallelujah, mocking them, amen, and telling, amen, making fun of the, of the Jews, amen, and what they would do as far as rebuilding the walls. And Sambalat, they could not invade Jerusalem. They couldn't destroy it, amen, because he was there under Artaxerxes' permission. So the Persian king, who was the leader of that, of that region at the time, and so he couldn't do nothing against the children of Israel, but mock them, and this is what he did. Amen. Samuel had heard that we build the wall. He was wroth and took great indignation and mock the Jews. When you're not doing anything, when you don't care about your life, hallelujah, when, when you're not serving God and when you're uh, <laughs> just, just down and out and depressed and don't care about anything, amen, seem like folk don't bother you, amen, but as soon as you say, I'm going to do something about myself, I'm going to do something about my life, I'm going to make my life better, hallelujah, then they come. Hallelujah. Then they come. They come with temptation and drawing stuff. I told you I was saved at 15 year old, years old. And amen. When I got saved, amen, uh, people that never offered me anything, amen, was offering me things. People that never took me where they were going, they come back and say, we had a time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then they started calling me and say, Ren, we going over to. Hallelujah. You want to go? Hallelujah. After I got the Holy before, they would come back and tell me, sweating and halfway. Amen. And three sheets to the wind, as they say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not even coherent. And they said, man, we had a time. Hallelujah. But after I got saved, after I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior, then they started, amen, wanting to take me to places. Amen. I shouldn't go. Hallelujah. Because Amen. My, my mind and my lifestyle, amen, was not consistent with my walk with God. Hallelujah. But when you make up your mind that you're going to do something about your life, that you're going to, hallelujah, proverbially start building the walls, amen, that around your city, where you live, where you dwell, where you walk, where you talk, hallelujah, then, hallelujah, the enemy comes because now he's your enemy. When you're working for Satan, he's your friend. Hallelujah. But when you decide you're going to serve the Lord, he becomes your enemy. A lot of us don't understand that he's our enemy even when we're serving Satan. Hallelujah. Because a thief comes with a steal, kill, and destroy. But I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. He spake, the second verse says, and he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, uh, what do these feeble Jews what are these people doing? Y'all heard some folks say that to you. What are you doing? Why are you going? Why? Why would you come all the way to Springfield? Why would you do that? Why? Amen. But if I stood here and told them same people, uh, God, thank you, that I had, amen, uh, keys to a new Lexus over here in Springfield. Hallelujah. They would catch train, planes, and automobiles. They would do whatever they had to do to get here to get their Lexus. Hallelujah. If I offered them some money, a million dollars. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is worth far more than any material thing that we can ever possess. Hallelujah. Thank you to God. And so we need to know and understand that God has called us for such a time as this. So the markers came, the governor of Samaria, amen, Sambalit began to, what, what are you doing? Hallelujah. Where they fortify themselves, where they restock, where they do the things that, were, that, is, that is necessary to reel the ball. And, and what I like is, will they sacrifice? Hallelujah. Thank you. you. Ask yourself these questions. Hallelujah. What are you doing? Hallelujah. Will you fortify yourself? Will you sacrifice? He's actually given us the road to recovery. He's showing us the way that we're supposed to get ourselves back in alignment with God. Or stay in alignment with God. Hallelujah. He's telling us, amen, to fortify ourselves. Now in cooking, we call it fortification. Now, when we do, when we talk about fortification, amen, when people make soup, they use water. Some people just take up water and they, they, amen, they throw the vegetables and whatever they're making. Uh, we call that pot boiling. We don't call that soup. Amen. Most chefs don't call that soup. We got to start. Amen. With the mirepoix. What's called a mirepoix. Mirepoix is the celery and the onions. Amen. Hallelujah. And the carrots. You chop them all up and you saute them in the pan with some butter. Amen. And you take some flour and you throw it down there. Amen. Mixed with the butter. It was called a roux. Amen. And thicken it up. And then you add a stock 
A stock is fortification. We don't add water to, amen, our soup because, amen, then the soup will taste like water. Hallelujah. But if it's chicken, we'll add chicken stock. If it's beef, we'll add beef stock. Hallelujah. And so and we call that fortifying. And just adding to the seasoning and the flavor. Even if we made some chicken stock, we would add even, uh, y'all use the, the, the nor and, amen, the bouillon cubes and all those. Sometimes when we making chicken stock, we would add that too our stock to give it more flavor and we call that fortifying hallelujah adding it to to give it flavor to make it stronger and better and more potent hallelujah and see we as believers come on going to church we have to be the church we can't just go to church amen we need to fortify ourselves and the and the best fortification amen is the spirit of god for jesus said ye shall receive some somebody help me here power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you amen you're going to be fortified with the power from God himself the spirit that moved upon the face of the waters the separated land from sea sky from earth you're going to be fortified hallelujah with the power of God so here assemble has given us the road map hallelujah to strength and power in God saying will they fortify themselves Will they sacrifice? Go beyond your means. Go beyond what you have. Go beyond what's around you. It's not a sacrifice unless it hurts. Hallelujah. Unless you need it for something else. Hallelujah. Unless it was supposed to be for something else. But yet you gave it to God. I needed it. Hallelujah. But God, you deserve it more than what I need. Hallelujah. So will they sacrifice? Will they make an end of the day? Will they finish the work? Will they conclude it? Hallelujah. The old song says, I started in Jesus and I'm going through. Hallelujah. Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Will you bring back the walls of Jerusalem? Amen. The cities of old needed walls for protection. Amen. From the enemy. Hallelujah. And my friends, my brothers, you need protection from the enemy. Hallelujah. God told me to tell the saints of God. Hallelujah. So build we the wall. Amen. Hallelujah. So build we the wall. Hallelujah. So we need to build the walls of our life. We need to, amen, not rely. Amen. If your walls are down, if there's no protection, amen, whatever's coming. I believe God. I serve God. He's able to protect me. He's able to shield me. He's able to keep me from falling. So I believe that God's going to deliver me, that he's going to make a way out of nowhere, that he's going to open doors. Yes, it's good. Hallelujah. To have faith to know that God has, amen, hallelujah, the power to deliver you. Joe, uh, 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 Jude says, now unto him who's able, hallelujah, to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the foundations of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, be honor and glory, dominion and power, both now and forever, hallelujah. And we know that God is able to deliver us, but we have a job to do. As God's people, we need to fortify ourselves. Oh, God, thank you. We need to serve the Lord with gladness we need to come before his presence with singing knowing that he is God it is he that has made us and not we ourselves the third verse is now Tobiah and the Amorite was with him there was right there with Sambalot amen the governor amen hallelujah Samaria amen and here's the Amorite coming Tobiah amen was by him and said even when the, the, they build it if the fox go up climb up the wall how he shall even break down the the stone wall here oh god here's near my i'm not paying attention to them hallelujah here's near my crying to god here oh god for we are despised and turn hallelujah their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders hallelujah how many are builders so build this is our key verse and the thoughts coming from this hallelujah so build we the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof why Listen, saints, it says, for the what? The people had a mind to work. Teamwork 
make the dream work. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get what I'm saying here. Hallelujah. You didn't say that for no reason. Hallelujah. God said it. Hallelujah. That settles it. I believe it. Hallelujah. And I got to stand on it. Hallelujah. We need to do it as together as a team of people building the walls of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. The Bible says the sixth verse. So they build we the wall and all the wall was joined together. A place that was desolated, a place that was broken, a place that was torn down by the king, hallelujah, by the by the, the armies of the enemies of Jerusalem. But even the man, the king of the army, allowed Nehemiah to go back, hallelujah, and, and, and rebuild the walls. It doesn't make sense. So a city that you just conquered, amen, hallelujah, a city that is broken and defenseless helps your kingdom and but but you allow Nehemiah hallelujah, to go back hallelujah Nehemiah said I need to go back and, and, and bury my parents I need to take care of the sepulchre the graveyards hallelujah hallelujah he said go ahead hallelujah thank you Jesus and he was allowed to go back there with with, with doctors and lawyers and amen gardeners amen not, not, not construction workers and begin to build the wall and they make fun of them hallelujah my friends you don't have an enemy until you try to get yourself together with God Hallelujah. And the, and the people that you thought was your friend, hallelujah, starts despising you. And y'all know, y'all heard some stuff around the corner, what they said about you. Hallelujah. How they talked about you. How they, how they lied on you and made up some things because, you know, deep down they want to be you. And they wish they had your strength. Hallelujah. They wish they could make some decisions. They letting everybody in their life make decisions for them. Amen. Hallelujah. They're the puppet masters and they're the puppets. They're pulled by the strings of everybody else. Hallelujah. But we as believers, need to start clipping and cutting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And stand on your own two feet. Hallelujah. And upon the, Jesus says, upon this rock, I shall build my church. Hallelujah. There go that building again. Hallelujah. And the gates of hell shall not uh, prevail against it. God is the foundation. He said, neither is there any other... <coughs> There's no other foundation that was laid other than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our rock. He's our foundation. He's the he's the, he's our rock in the weary land. He's our shelter in the time of storm. Hallelujah. He told Peter upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the house of God. Hallelujah. And we as God's believers and God's people don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the people that's lying on you and talking about you. Amen. That's out to get you. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Keep your eyes on the price. He said him I will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. You got to have a mind to work. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Bishop Robert you say, amen. Some folk won't get a, a job in a pie shop stacking pie Hallelujah. Just so lazy. Won't do anything. Hallelujah. They got internet jobs now. They got jobs all kinds of places. Amen. But they unwilling to do anything. Amen. Because they want somebody to do it for them. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, some, sometimes they ask God, God, you do it. Lord, do it for me right now. Hallelujah. But there's some there's some things about God that he requires us. Amen. He said, work while it's day. The night come when no man can work. He said, a man that don't work, that don't take care of his house, is worse than an infidel. Hallelujah. In other words, he's worse than a non-believer. How can you romance somebody? Hallelujah. How can you sweet uh, whisper sweet nothings in their ear and you got sweet nothings in your pocket? Hallelujah. You know you can't step up to the stuff that you're saying, but you're there. Amen. As we used to say when it was coming up. Amen. Believing in the hereafter. Hallelujah. If you're not here after what I'm here after. Hallelujah. You'll be here after I'm gone. Hallelujah. So that's what the, that's what it was all about. Amen. What they wanted to get out of you. Hallelujah. But you need somebody in your life. You need somebody in the relationship with you that brings something to the relationship. Ha huh, God. But baby, when you're in relationship with Jesus Christ, I haven't seen, either haven't heard, neither have it into the hearts of men. Jesus got something for you. Hallelujah. Jesus got more love than you ever experienced experienced in your life. Hallelujah. He owns the world. Hallelujah. He said, baby, I'm going to give you the world. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Hallelujah. How can you get better than Jesus Christ? How, he's bread when I'm hungry, water when I'm thirsty. He's a doctor in the sixth room, a, a lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus is my friend. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. Greater love have no man than this, than a man that lay down his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love the Lord today. I ain't scared to say it. I love the Lord because he heard my cry. He pitted every one of my groans. I was distressed. Amen. The walls of Jerusalem have been torn down by friends and family and even myself. Hallelujah. But May 22nd, 1978, I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I got to work starting to build the walls. Hallelujah. Starting to build the walls. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Folks said some stuff. They lie. They talk about me. Hallelujah. But I started building. I kept building the wall. Amen. They told him to come down later on. They told Liam my Come on down the wall that we can help you. Hallelujah. They wanted to kill him. Hallelujah. Because they didn't want him to finish the walls. He said, I can't come down. I'm doing a good work. I'm on the wall. I'm doing a good work and I can't come down. Hallelujah. And they'll come down to slay you. They mocked and scorned them. Didn't think they could do it. But once it started getting done, they wanted to stop them from doing it. That's what they wanted to do in the first place. Hallelujah. But they were just doing it through ridicule. Hallelujah. And lies and deceit. If a fox crawled up on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then it won't work. It'll fall down. And people said that about you. You ain't nothing. Your daddy wasn't nothing. Your mama wasn't nothing. You ain't ever going to be nothing. Hallelujah. But the Bible says I can do all things. Hallelujah. Through Christ that strengthened me. I'm so glad that the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. So everything I was, everything I didn't meet up to, hallelujah, hallelujah, every, the man that failed God on every hand, hallelujah, God began to build his work around, hallelujah, God can take the nothing, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, law killed the best man, grace saves the worst man, hallelujah, grace, uh, that, that, it was grace that brought me safe thus far, it was grace that would lead me on, hallelujah, from faith to faith, the just shall live by faith. So the dream work, the teamwork will make the dream work. Hallelujah. And amen. We build the walls. Hallelujah. So be with the walls for the people had a mind to work. Hallelujah. And we need to know, understand, and understand as believers, amen, that we need to start building. <coughs> Anybody, hallelujah, can, can work. Amen. And, and labor. Amen. Hallelujah. For their own. There's nothing wrong with taking care of your house and taking care of your family. Amen. But we as God's people need to start building up the house of house of God. Hallelujah. I used to work at this restaurant. Amen. This this, this uh, uh, manager, you say Dave, uh, he would tell, amen, the, the waiters. He, didn't, he, he said, uh, you, you, I can come in and train a monkey to wait on tables. Hallelujah. I need you guys to use your brain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you to be humans and, and do smart things. Hallelujah. With wisdom. Hallelujah. I need these people to take food from the kitchen to the table. We can train animals to do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we become church animals. Hallelujah. We don't think for us. We don't do things spiritually. Hallelujah. We just go to church, get our shout on, get our praise on, and we go home. Thinking that and the devil's waiting for you. Hallelujah. On your job. Your devil's waiting for you in your neighborhood. The devil's waiting for you because you took him with you when you went. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You didn't leave him at the door. That's why he said, cast all your cares on me for I care for you. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise because you're getting rid of all the mess. You're getting rid of all the gunk, all the muck and the mire. You're getting rid of all that that you may come into God's house. Amen. And lift your hands in the sanctuary and give God glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we come here to get rid of Satan and put on every day that we live, put on more Jesus to build us up in this most holy faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And in order to build, we have to be built up. How are we going to be taught? And trying to build somebody. You ever known somebody to give you advice and they they <laughs> they couldn't make sense out of their life? <laughs> you you need you, you need Angela Lansbury, you need Merch, you need Columbo, Amen, Holly Kojak, you need all the detectives. Hallelujah. To try to figure out what to do with their life. Hallelujah. <laughs> their life is jacked up. How, and they got the audacity to tell you what to do with your life and tell you who to date. Your, and your, your, your relationship is a train wreck. Hallelujah. You try to tell me hallelujah, who I should be dating or you know, going out with or what to do with my husband. Hallelujah. You've never been my. You had five husbands like the woman at the well. Hallelujah. You've had five and the one you're with now is not yours. And you're going to tell me what I'm supposed to do in my marriage? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 
<laughs> if I was you, no, you're not me. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus, for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But when we come from the word of God, the only thing you ought to be built up is in the word of God. Amen. And in his power, the Bible says on the, the song says on Christ, the solid rock, we stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. We got going to make it. Amen. So building out. It said the old song said hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. And that's what we need to build ourselves on. Get around people. I, I used to like knuckleheads. I like crazy people. I just love hanging around anything that I used to have this T-shirt said, why be normal? Amen. And I used to, I used to like, because I just like non, because you grew up in the structure and the rigor of church and, you know, you like this all, you know, the whole service. Amen. You're scared you're going to get whipped or kicked out and you're, somebody going to tell your mama. And, and so you you in church and you all, and so when you got free, you were ready to go. How did, how did, so I like it. They were crazy as a loon. That's, that's my friend. I'm going to make you my friend. How did, cause I, I, I didn't like reality. Reality sucks. So let me, let me go into fantasy, living in the fantasy world. And that's a whole nother message for another day. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we are all, we not in fantasy today. Hallelujah. And so when, but, but that's what you're building. You're building fantasy. And you, and you make your life about fantasy. Hallelujah. But we need to build ourselves in Christ. It's about money. People, some people about money. Some people about relationships. Some, some women and some men make everything about the, the other person until, they're, until they disappear. They're erased. Because my life is you. Hallelujah. Everything I do, every, I wake up morning, noon, and night. Everything is about you. Hallelujah. And we're in relationship is too. Hallelujah. And so sometimes we build up in that and we lose ourselves because, amen, Christ builds us up. He makes us better people. The spirit of God makes us better. Hallelujah. And so when we step out of that, God knows what's out there. That's why it says all other ground. It's sinking sand. Some people, their money, they build themselves in their finance. This is what you got to do. You got to start, and this is what I've done. And it's about money. And y'all know it can't come up, it can't cross the street because it costs you two cents worth of gas. Hallelujah to cross the street. Hallelujah. They can't help you pay your light bill. They got the money, but they won't help you because they're scared you're going to ask them next month. Hallelujah. So they're not going to, amen. You might, they might need you to do something. You might call them again. So they're not going to say it. How do, and the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. How are you going to get it if you never give it? Your hands are closed. Hallelujah. And your hands are closed. No, you won't lose it, but you can't gain because your hands are closed. So he said, prove me this day. See when I open up the wind of heaven, pour you out a blessing. You don't have room to receive. So there's many things that we build up ourselves in. Hallelujah. Some of us in psychosis and, and non-logical things. Hallelujah. But if we build ourselves in Christ and allow Jesus Christ to have the preeminence, make him the first ruler, repent, be baptized, every one of us, for the remission of our sins and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Then we start to, we start to get that foundation of Jesus. And we start standing on that foundation. And while we have that foundation, we start laying down bricks, studying to show ourselves approved unto God. Our work may not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We start building bricks by praying every morning. God, I thank you for a new day. Hallelujah. People think you got to speak in tongues and stuff. Hallelujah. That you got to be perfect. No, just start, just start the conversation with them. Lord, I just thank you for today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for my food. Thank you for my rising. Thank you for it. Start, just start praying. And it starts to to build up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you start cracking that book and studying and learning more about God's word. And start building you up and maybe come to Bible class or listen to Bible class. Amen. And start learning more about God and start getting around people. Amen. That are like mine. Be, we as believers, we don't do this. We go to church. Amen. We, we relate with people that are in church. Amen. But, but believers need to start moving in direction and bringing in people into your life that's moving in your direction. That's moving in the same direction you are. If they're not, they're not good for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I got an accommodation, amen, at, at, at Hilton one time. Amen. They went around the room. We was at a you know, manager's meeting. And, and, and they so these guys, they started uh, doing all these promotions. And they're talking about promoting the business and, and, and how to um, gain money and all this stuff in the, in the, over there in Crystal City. And, and I, he asked me, what, to, what did I think? <clears throat> and I grabbed a pen and a piece of paper and I drew a circle and I put an X, <laughs> I put a, I put a, I did like this. I, I draw a big circle, hallelujah, and, and I put an X 
at the bottom and an X at the top. And this is what I told them. I said, we have a hotel. People come to our hotel to stay in the hotel and do different things. In turn, they give us money to do that. We take that money, put it back in the hotel to make it better for the people that come to visit the hotel. I said, anything outside of that need to be removed off the circle. Like, he looked at me. Because <laughs> they coming up with, we need to go on TV, we need to do, we need to have promotion, we need to block off the street, and we need to do, no, we need to, we need to do what we do better. In other words, hallelujah. And don't waste money and waste time. Let's, 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 you know, uh, what, what they call a niche. You need to have a niche in what you do and do it better than anybody else. Amen. And so we need to understand that Christ died for our sins and he's the premise of our life. <clears throat> and we won't have anything better than him. And if we build ourselves up in anything else, it's not going to work. It's going to tear us down. And hallelujah, it's going to make our lives worse. Come on, let's give God praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Build these things. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The people had a mind to work. Amen. Because they had saw the destruction. You see the destruction. You see the felties in your life. Hallelujah. You see the ones that's there for you and those that are not there for you. Hallelujah. The thing I love about the Lord, he, he just brings in people. He brings in, he'll bring in things into you. You never expected. Hallelujah. That you never thought. Amen. That would happen. And the people that you depended on and you thought would be there all the way. No. Hallelujah. They didn't, they just, they left you by the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I've learned to say thank you, Jesus, when they do that. Amen. I used to get upset and fuss and try to figure out why. Never figure out why people do stuff wrong because that makes you have that mind of that person that did it wrong. Hallelujah. Don't try to figure it out. Thank God that you can't figure it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you don't have that kind of brain. You don't have that kind of spirit to do. Why in the world would they do that? And I just, hey, why would you want to know? <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't try to figure that out. Just say thank you for showing me you and move forward. Hallelujah. <laughs> Next. Hallelujah. 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 Because they'll keep you down. Amen. The Bible says, Lord, can descend the men of low estate. Well, that's talking about building them up and bringing them up. Amen. Near my names mean the comforter. Amen. And he is our example of the Spirit of God and how the, the comforter will come into your heart and to your mind. The Spirit of God will save you and deliver you and make you whole. But you're going to have some enemies. But the Bible says, fret not thyself because of evildoers and be not envious against the workers of iniquity. They will soon cut down like grass and wither like the green herb. So we don't have to worry about what the enemy is doing. Keep your eyes on the prize. Him that keep his mind on me, him or her, I will keep in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed. So, so focus on God today. Focus on glory today. And allow the Lord to build you up in the name of Jesus. Tre teamwork. Make that dream work. Amen. Hallelujah. Then God put that together. Hallelujah. He already knew what he told me to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Bruton couldn't make it. Hallelujah. So she had car trouble. Pray for her. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I say, Lord, what you want me to say? Talk about Nehemiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then she broke that thing out. And I say, well, Lord, you just confirming what you want me to say. Hallelujah. And I pray that's a uh, blessing to somebody. Build, amen, the walls of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and don't get torn up and torn down by people. Amen. Because, you know, the, 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 the wolf. Amen. And the, and, the, and the three little piggies. Hallelujah. And, and one built it with, with straw. The other one with wood. And one with brick. Hallelujah. It's a nice little comical, uh, but it's a great lesson in that. Because that wolf huffed and puffed. Hallelujah. But he couldn't knock down that brick. Hallelujah. Because it, 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 was, it, was, a, it was a sure foundation.